हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम सुनील कुमार पीजीटी कॉमर्स केंद्रीय विद्यालय सेक्रेटरीट आर के पुरम लेट मी वेलकम टू आर अनदर एक्साइटिंग एपिसोड ऑफ बिजनेस स्टडीज क्लास 12 इन अ प्रीवियस एपिसोड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द फॉर्मल एंड इनफॉर्मल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द डेलीगेशन ऑफ अथॉरिटी इट्स मीनिंग एंड प्रोसेस बाय द टाइम स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द मीनिंग एंड प्रोसेस ऑफ डेलीगेशन ऑफ अथॉरिटी नाउ यू आर इन अ पोजीशन टू अंडरस्टैंड the importance of delegation of authority the first point of importance of delegation of authority is effective management as we know a single person cannot do all the things the person has to delegate his tasks to so many people who are working under him and since every person is doing a particular task will be concentrating completely on that task and in this way each task will be done to the perfection and all the people will be doing their individual task to the perfection and in this way overall task of the organization is completed to the perfection which brings effective management to the operations of the business organization the second advantage of delegation is employees development in delegation of authority the opportunity is given to the subordinate to do the task of a superior it will motivate him because his superior is showing his confidence in him and he will be feel touched so in this way the employee start feeling belonging to the organization and to his superior and in this way the task will be done to the perfection and the employee is getting the opportunity to do the work which is not of his post level which is of the top level of management our next advantage of delegation is motivation of employees as i mentioned earlier once the employees are given a task of a slightly higher level they will be committed towards that job they will be doing it happily because they would like to learn more about that task in future they are going to get the promotion and they have to perform these activities so by doing it right now they will be getting the confidence in themselves that yes they are having in it and when they will be becoming the superior they will be able to execute these tasks very very easily the next point of importance is reduces the workload of managers it is evident even with the meaning of delegation of authority that the managers will be giving the routine work and some other work to his subordinates and the managers can concentrate on the core issues only so it will reduce the workload of the top level of management because they have given the task to the middle level and the lower level of management and the top level of management can concentrate on the policies procedures and the strategies which are most important for the success of the organization they can do it in the best possible and effective way our next importance of delegation is basis of superior subordinate relationship in delegation of authority the superior is delegating some task to his subordinate so it proves and it uh, just gives an information that the establishment of superior subordinate relationship is very much existing in the business organization which helps in taking the orders and instructions and setting the accountability so that the task in an organization is completed and the success of the business is ensured the next importance of delegation is organizational growth all the people working in the organization are doing their task to the best of their knowledge and ability sometimes the superior is interesting some part of his responsibilities to the subordinate which gives him opportunity to learn about new things and in this way the employees of the organization are well aware of the activities which they have to perform when they will be getting the promotion and in this way organizational growth is facilitated now we have come to an end of our importance of delegation and i think you have understood the meaning and the importance of delegation of authority now student let we move to the last topic of the chapter organizing and that is decentralization students what is the meaning of decentralization recently we have done what is the meaning of delegation of authority in delegation the superior is giving his responsibilities on temporary basis to his subordinates but in decentralization these responsibilities and authorities are attached to a particular post and these are not delegated 
on temporary basis to the subordinates. So the decentralization is one which is increasing the role of employees in an organization. It's not like the power is concentrating only in the few hands sitting at the top level of the management. Rather, the equal amount of authority is spread in the middle level and the lower level of management. And it helps in completing the task in the best possible manner. That is why in most of the organizations in our country and in the world, there are decentralization. Now students, let me understand the importance of decentralization. How much important decentralization is for the success of the organization? The first one is relief to top level of management. In decentralization, the authority and responsibility is attached to the posts at the lower level, middle level of management. And the top level of management now because they are getting the management by exception. That is, the routine work is given to the lower level of management. Some thinking tasks of the departments are given to the middle level of management. And now the top level of management is free to decide that what type of strategies they have to form. Because the management's task is to expand the business. And in order to expand the business, they need to introduce more products in the market. And by doing so, by doing decentralization in the organization, now they can focus only on the main issues which are important for the organization. And as I mentioned earlier, which may be introduction of new product in the market. So their full attention should go for launching that particular product in the market. Our next importance of decentralization is quick decision making. Each person working on a particular post, authority and responsibility is attached to that post. So the person is now given the responsibility of taking the decisions of that post and he is not supposed to ask anything about his superior whether he can take that decision or not. It helps the development of the employees. It helps in bringing the self-reliance and self-confidence of that particular employee. And the decision-making process will be very, very quick since the superior is not involved in taking the decision by the subordinate. Now, next importance is develops initiative among the subordinates. Decentralization gives authority to every person, whether he is working at the lower level of management, at the supervisor or the foreman level. They can take decision of their own and now they will be feeling confident that they are capable of taking the decisions and when they will be given a chance to get promotion and when they will be sitting at the top position, they will be able to execute this properly because they are having an experience of taking their own decisions when they were working in their previous posts. The next importance of decentralization is better control. In decentralization, Control can be facilitated very, very easily. Every person is responsible for taking the decisions. And if the decisions are not taken properly, they will be kept accountable for that. And they will not be putting the responsibility on the superiors that only the superiors, they gave the orders and that is why we are taking these decisions. As a result, the better control can be exercised but only in decentralization. The last importance of decentralization, that is, facilitates growth. In an organization which is fully decentralized, each and every person is working on a particular post, is responsible for carrying out his responsibility and are entrusted with some amount of authority. As a result, all the decisions are taken to the perfection because each person is responsible and accountable for the decisions taken by them and it facilitates the growth of the organization. Now students, we have come to an end of our chapter organizing in which we have studied about the meaning of organizing, process of organizing, importance of organizing, types of organizational structure that is a functional organizational structure and divisional organizational structure. We have studied about the formal organization, informal organization, the difference between the formal and informal organization then delegation of authority, its process and importance and now lastly we have done the decentralization, its meaning and importance. And I think now you are capable of retaining all the concepts in your mind since these all are correlated with suitable examples and I'm sure you have understood these concepts and in our next episode students now look for the third most important function of management that is staffing. So till then stay in tune. Thank you. <music>